and allow your spine to grow upwards like a blade of grass reaching towards the sun with your head floating at the top. In fact, you can separate the t neck from the spine a little bit by working the head in a sort of figure eight so that you're growing upwards from the crown. And then if you'll sink down in your knees a little bit, we'll do three quick warm-up exercises. One is to just shake your hands. We're loosening things up and trying to get tension free and trying to open the meridians through which energy can flow in the body, those same meridians that an acupuncturist would try to open up through the use of needles. And then if you will, just twist your hips from side to side and let the arms flop. Don't shape the arms at all, but simply let the arms flop from side to side as you twist your hips. And then finally, as a warm-up, if you'll make some hip circles, but don't separate your spine from your pelvic bowl. Let the spine be included in the circle so it's as if you're painting a circle in the air with a paintbrush hanging down from your tailbone, and that circle would be parallel to the floor. Now, we're going to go very quickly through what's called the five elements form as developed by Tsong Liang Huang of the Living Tao Foundation. The five elements that we're going to be moving through are fire, water, wood, metal, and earth. So first, sink down, bring your arms in and up as you inhale. And as you exhale, let the arms float down at the sides. And then imagine there's something palpable that you can grab in front of you and take a big scoop of it in as you step back and take that in towards your center and then press out with your palms and then let one arm float up and one arm float down as you mix yang and yin energy into your center or your dantian. And then once you have processed the yang and yin energy, you want to step forward. This is the fire element, as if you're sending the fire of you out into the world. It comes full circle back to you as the water element, raining down on you and nourishing you. And out of that water comes growth. So the third element is the wood element. You're going to walk around yourself in a circle. Your legs are like the trunk of a tree. Your arms are like the branches waving in the wind. And as you come back front, one arm will scoop back. This is the metal element, as if you're picking up coins from the bottom of the sea, from a sunken treasure chest, and you're dropping those coins into your Taiji piggy bank. This metal element gives way to the earth element, where you allow the arms to swing down and recoil upwards, touching base with the earth below and the sky above. The arms come down and then rise back up as if energy is coursing through you that's being processed through your body but coming from the earth. And then this last gesture, Tsong Liang refers to as embrace tiger, your hands cross in front of your chest and then sink down and return to mountaintop. Embrace tiger, return to mountain is also the name of Tsong Liang's most seminal book on the teaching of Tai Chi. So that's the five elements form that Great. you've just gone through. That was fast. That was really good. All right.